Hello, today we will talk about material derivatives and Lagrangian and Eulerian representation of the flow field. These are extremely important concepts in atmospheric sciences and fluid dynamics in general. In Eulerian representation of the flow field, we carry out measurements at fixed point in space and time is changing. So most of the measurements at weather stations are Eulerian representation of the atmosphere, because if you have an anemometer or a thermometer and you measure, let's say, temperature with that thermometer, it is fixed in space. If this is the thermometer, it is fixed in space and time is uh, running and we measure how temperature changes with time. Eulerian representation of the atmosphere. In the Lagrangian framework, we have to imagine individual particles of air or air parcels and we have to attach our selves to one of these particles and travel with a particle and observe how different properties change with time and space. So uh, in Lagrangian uh, description of the flow field, we are following individual air parcels and record their change in time and space. When I say their change in time and space, it can be change of temperature, pressure, wind, uh, concentration of some uh, chemical substance, whatever. So in today's video, we will now mathematically derive the relationship between uh, Lagrangian description of the flow field and Eulerian description of the flow field. And then at the end of the video, I will try to give you uh, a demonstration or rather an analogy that will hopefully simplify the Eulerian and Lagrangian description of the flow field using traffic. Uh, so let's go and first see mathematically the relationship between uh, these two descriptions of the flow field. I will have a coordinate system, Cartesian coordinate system, like this. And I will look into some quantity and the probably the easiest quantity to look is a temperature. There is this point here that has temperature T that is function of time. Now, in Eulerian frame of reference, this coordinate is fixed. This is perhaps a thermometer and I am constantly recording temperature as a function of time. That would be Eulerian frame of reference. And these are the coordinates, let's say X, Y, Z and they are fixed, so the coordinates of this point are fixed in time. But now, if we switch to Lagrangian frame of reference, then there is some particle or uh, air parcel coming to this point and then passing, and then I follow that particle, and let's say that particle or air parcel finds itself here, and it has temperature T, at time t plus dt, where dt is uh, infinitesimally small increment in time. Now, please remember that as we are moving with this particle, let's say from point 1 to point 2, the coordinates of this particle are changing with time. So, if I say that particle has coordinate x as a vector of t, that means that these are changing with time and the components are x of t, y of t, z of t. So, these are the three Cartesian components of this particle and they change with time as we are as we are riding on top of the particle. Now, what is the total change in temperature, dt? dt will be equal, well, I need to do total derivative of this function, and this function is function of time as well as space, but space is also a function of time. So, dt will be delta t over delta t times dt plus delta t over delta x 
times dx plus delta t delta y times dy and plus delta t delta z times dz. One more time, total derivative of temperature in this case is the rate of change of temperature times the increment of uh, time. Rate of change of temperature along the x uh, component, so for example along in this direction, times the distance in that direction. Rate of change uh, along the y direction times the distance dy and the same in the z direction. In this case it would be that. Rate of change along this distance times that distance. Now I will divide this with dt and I will get that dt dt is equal delta t over delta t plus dx over dt is u delta t delta x plus dy dt is v component of velocity delta t delta y and plus dz dt is the w or vertical component of the velocity delta t delta z. We can kind of simplify this a little bit more if we say that wind has components u in the i direction plus v in the j direction plus w in the k direction where i, j and k are the unit vectors in the x, y and z directions respectively and the so-called del operator or nabla operator differential operator delta del is uh, delta delta x i plus delta delta y j plus delta delta z k if i acknowledge these two then the above expression becomes dt dt is delta t over delta t plus u dot nabla acting on t. And this is the definition of material or substantial derivative. It has two terms. We usually call this term unsteady term. And this one, in atmospheric sciences, we call it advective term. If you are studying fluid dynamics, then probably they call it convective term. So there is this uh, change of terminology. In atmospheric sciences, we call convection the vertical component of this term. Anything in the vertical direction is convection, but if we have something in the horizontal direction or unknown direction, then we usually just say advection. Now, this derivation, as you saw, was uh, related to temperature, but you can replace temperature with any other quantity, density, pressure, uh, salinity of water, whatever. And uh, the same, of course, applies. Now, when we are applying second Newton's law, namely uh, sum of all forces is mass times acceleration, the acceleration that is change of velocity with time uh, is material derivative. So that's a Lagrangian point of view or Lagrangian representation of the flow field. Keep that in mind uh, when you are applying second Newton's law to uh, individual parcels of fluid. Now I will try to demonstrate the difference between uh, Eulerian and Lagrangian description of the flow using traffic and cars. Let's go. I am in downtown of Montreal and what you see now is Eulerian point of view. My camera is fixed 
at least if we neglect shaking of my hands because it's minus five and I don't have gloves but I'm looking at these cars and we can say that each car is a an air parcel I am measuring velocity of these cars which is let's say wind velocity you can see that some cars are moving fast some cars are moving slow and sometimes there is no cars at all like right now so my position in the space as you can see x is fixed and uh, I don't know what is happening at any other point in space except the one where I'm doing measurement. Now we have cars that stopped because uh, in front of me to the right is, uh, uh, is lights and this would be no wind. Now something is accelerating which means air parcel represented by car is accelerating. Instead of car's velocity we can also look at the color which would mean I am looking in an Eulerian frame of reference how different colors are passing this line over here. Black car, blue car, again blue car, now we will have a white car, police, hello, and so on. Now, to demonstrate to you Lagrangian frame of reference, I would have to stop someone. I would have to stop someone. Let's try to stop this car. Oh, this girl stopped. That's nice. Hello. Hi. Can I jump in? Sure, come in. Oh, thank you. I'm George. Hi, I'm Rebecca. What's up? Rebecca, can I have a ride? Of course. Where oh. do you want to go? Just drive straight, let's say. I'm demonstrating something for YouTube. Oh, nice. So now we are in a Lagrangian frame of reference. I am riding with the air parcel, but because of the lights, the air parcel stopped. Oh, green. Now we are accelerating. And uh, now I don't know anymore what is happening at the point where I did measurement in the Eulerian frame of reference. But uh, now we are traveling with the particle and uh, I can uh, feel acceleration, I can feel deceleration. Now, can you turn right please? Sure. Oh, great. So now we are turning right. The air parcel is turning right. This is all Lagrangian frame of reference. But at the same time, uh, I lost all the knowledge of uh, that point over there at cross section where I did the original measurement. Are you that famous beauty blogger? Beauty blogger? Yeah. Are you a beauty blogger? Stop the car. Beauty blogger? This is unacceptable. Beauty blogger. What is she talking about? What beauty blogger? This is atmospheric sciences. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned the difference between Eulerian and Lagrangian description of the flow field and the meaning of material derivative. Until next video, goodbye.